Hi, and welcome to Freedom Fridays. We started Freedom Fridays. Anita Wagner created a great movie. It's her life story called Freedom the Movie. And we wanted to show the backstory. So uh, today we have Lisa Varga. Lisa gets to play Anita Wagner in the movie, the lead role. And Anita's right over there, so I have to yeah, <laughs> give so a shout out to her. She's looking at the lady she's she's uh, playing in the movie. Yes. Yeah, there's no pressure there at all. No. No. <laughs> uh, we both are now, so that's awesome. So so tell us, so where did you, where did you grow up? Uh, I am originally from South Bend, Indiana. Awesome. People might have heard of Notre Dame there. They, I think so. Just the Golden little, Dome. Little team. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so born and raised there, and then for 15 years I lived in LA. I lived in Miami. I lived in New York City, and now I'm here in Oklahoma, which is very similar to all of those places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so, so um, man, there's so many questions I want to ask you. So, when did you start acting? When I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I started at a very young age and, you know, I did like little musical plays and theaters and things. Mm. And I remember uh, I was probably like five or six years old. And my mom said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I told her I want to be an actor. Love and it. She said, why? I said, because I want to change the world and people listen to actors. So I never wanted to wow. do it for the reason that, yeah. you know, it wasn't about fame. It wasn't about, you know, being a celebrity or making money. It was like, I really wanted to have an impact changing the world, making it a better place. And I was just mesmerized by film and acting. And I, I loved Carol Burnett that oh, back yeah, in the day. Oh yeah, she's talented. Yeah. And so I was like, I just, I want to do this. And uh, so when I, I started off modeling actually. Awesome. And then I got into commercials and then that led me into film and TV. And, and then I got into producing and writing and directing. And so I, I've done it all. <laughs> that, that's such a cool story. I love the reasons why you got it. And I yeah. love how you dropped the mic at such a young age. This is what I'm going to do and I'm going to be successful. Yeah. That is so cool. And you own a production company also, right? I do. Yeah, Lisa yeah. Entertainment. So, you know, I've produced a couple of films, written, and uh, plan to do some more. That is awesome. It's so exciting. So what, what is it like now being the lead in this movie? What, 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 first, tell us, when did you get the news? It, so this is an interesting story. I was actually uh, on a business trip in Dallas. Okay. Kind of around your neck yeah, of the woods there. Yeah. <laughs> and on the way home, you know, it was a business opportunity and, and certain things just weren't going the way I wanted to. And and I literally said a prayer on the plane and I'm like, Lord, awesome. what do you want me to do? You know, I, I, my life is yours right now. Yeah. Am I supposed to be in business entertainment? Am I ever supposed to do a movie again? Um, because to backtrack a little, in 2009, my brother is a two-time cancer survivor. Oh, bless the Lord. And he's doing great. Awesome. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise God yeah, that he is healthy absolutely. and doing well. But I gave up my entire acting career uh, just to come home and help take care of my family and be there for them. And it's it was a long battle of five years where we weren't sure what was going to happen. And I didn't do anything but just be there for my family. So it was interesting getting back into filmmaking again on the right. other side, because before that I, I had done producing and, and was on, you know, <laughs> that side of the camera. And so that prayer that I said opened up this door to an email from Anita that awesome. she had found me on IMDb and she was looking for someone to play the role of her. And she sent me this email and on the plane, like not after that, long after that prayer, I'm like, well, let me just check my emails. And here was this woman who I had never known or met. And she said, would you be interested in playing this role? I'll send you all the information. And I started reading it. I was fascinated, yeah. instantly felt this connection and bond. And that same night, as soon as I got home, I, I called her and I said, hey, <laughs> let's talk about this. And here we sit. So, it, it, and now you're in freedom. And here I am in freedom. <laughs> and, Isn't that amazing? Yeah, but I just, I love Anita. And we mm -hmm. found that we had so many similarities. So being here in freedom with Anita is just a dream come true for an actor yeah. because I get to meet the person that I am portraying. And so cool. knowing everything about her, like just her mannerisms, her personality, and then backstories, and she's going to take me to some special places a little later ah, today. Exciting. That, that no one else, you know, really right. knows about, but it's just a, you know, something to just grow a little bit deeper and bond with her more so I could really find the heart and soul of who she is and who the character Cheyenne is. I love that. Oh, that's so exciting. I, yeah. I love the reason why you went to Hollywood, why you did what you did, yep. and then why you dropped what you did. It's just, it's a character, you know, it's, yeah. it's what you have. And we spent so much time together lately. I love that. I yes. love, you know, and that's why I'm so excited about this interview. So people can, can see you and know you. So when they see you on the screen, they're like, did you know about? And yeah. I think it's so cool. They know 
of more about you yeah. than just the character. Yeah, and it's been you and your family. I just I love you all so much, and, and oh, even thank Ava you. too. Like thank you. I have met my new freedom family. Absolutely, and that's what it is. It truly yes. is. Yeah, I love that. I, I know. I, and I was talking to Anita about this and asking her, you know, how did this mm -hmm. change your life? But I just feel like. What am I doing here? Right, you know, in right. cowboy boots and, and shooting this movie. <laughs> riding horses. Riding horses. Oh, that was yeah, fun. Where's my horse guy? He's here. Yeah, he's too. right around here. Um, but yeah, it's just been such an experience, and I see how she found freedom. Yeah. In being in here in freedom. Yeah. Because it is life changing, and you meet all these great people, and you have this simple life where it's just so much more. I'm gonna cry because she's great. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. I'm sorry. Um, you find yourself here because yeah. you just, you forget about everything else in the world. And, and there's a lot of good people in the world and a lot of good things in the world and here in freedom. That's so I, I'm cool. finding it too. So. Yeah, it is, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. And there's really no handshakes on this deal. It's all hugs, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of love hug. that, you know? Um, yeah. So what's your takeaway? What do you want to take out of this weekend? Because there's a lot going on. There is a lot going yeah, on. Man, I, I, so the much. takeaway is just like absorbing it all and mm -hmm. just living and breathing it and understanding yeah. Anita's story. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so that I can do the best job I can in this film so that when people watch it, not only are they entertained, but they learn a lesson. And uh, that little dream that I had when I was a little girl, that they're inspired by it. And I want to I want to help change the world by telling stories. And I think this is a powerful story that needs yeah. to be told. Yeah. Um, and, you know, people will, will know about it very soon. So well, you've done it for a long time on a high level. And thanks for being on this yeah, the absolutely. movie and on this show, you yeah. know, for Anita. And it's been fun. Uh, I can't wait to work with you. You too. Yeah. I know we got some great scenes together. We did. We sure did. You know, I have to say, though, uh Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I be, see you doing. Be gentle. Yeah, yeah. No, you're doing all these interviews. Yes. And I think you need to be interviewed. Oh my, I don't know. You think you are in the movie? Yes. And yeah, you, I am. I'm gonna ask you for a favor. Can we switch seats? Yeah, let's switch. And I'm gonna let's interview you. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Lisa Woo, Margo. It's a little we're more here, pressure and, on this uh, side. We're here with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or it's Freedom Fridays, that we'll call it. That's what we're calling it yeah, today. So welcome we'll to change Freedom tomorrow. Friday. I'm Lisa Varga, and uh, my guest today is Scott Knudsen. Hey, y'all. And he is playing the role of Tim I am. in this movie. So tell us a little bit about your background. How does, how does this feel, by the way, being oh, on the other so side? so much more pressure in this chair than that chair. <laughs> yeah, this is You fun. know, <laughs> you just lob stuff from there. Um, it, it's great. You know, I was so honored when Anita asked me. You know, I was, I was commenting on her post. I love the story. And uh, just trying to put some encouragement out, like, keep going, this is awesome. And then she asked me uh, if I would play Tim. And I was like, absolutely. Without a doubt, I didn't have to hesitate. You know, we prayed over as a family, we were ready to go, and, and uh, we're blessed to be here. So what is your acting experience? Not a lot, you know? <laughs> Which is I, 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 you know, the last three years, it's just kickstarted. So I'm a fifth generation cowboy, you know, from Texas, and uh, survived being hit by lightning and all kinds of different really? injuries. Yeah, really. <gasps> In the head, out the hand, hold my baby girl, but we lived through it, what? you know, and just lots of injuries, you know, rodeoing and ranching and training horses. Wow. And we started talking about it about three years ago, and then it led into the cowboy entrepreneur and then some TV stuff. And, and now, you know, we're in a movie together. So, oh my, see how things happen? You just have to be in the right place at the right time. But you, being a fifth generation cowboy, you had what it took to play Tim. What do you know about Tim? What can you tell people about Tim? Tim, I understand Tim's <laughs> role. I, I know a lot of guys in Texas like Tim, and uh, uh, they're successful in business, um, they're characters. And uh, I can't wait to play that role. Yeah, you are you are going to be great at it. I mean, <laughs> I've read the book. I, yeah. you know, I have the script, obviously, we both have. And you have some fun scenes. So I think you're going to. Oh, it's going to be fun. You're going to bring it to life. We have some scenes together. We do. Yeah, I'm going to try not just to laugh because we have so much fun together. We but do. See, but that's where you know, it, the acting part yeah, comes absolutely in. absolutely you know, right. you got to kind of flip that switch from, you know, friends and interviewers to absolutely. Now, we're, now we're in a movie. Yeah, that's, that's going right. to be exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Haley, your daughter. Oh, yeah. Haley gets to too. be in the movie. Yeah. Thank you, Anita, for that. For sure. Yeah. It's going to be lots of fun. Um, but let's talk more about Freedom Fridays and your podcast. OK. How did this all come about? So, uh, you know, my, my wife, she woke up one morning and said, we need to do something like The Chosen. We need to show the backstories and, and talk, show the great people that are around this deal. And, and she said, what about Freedom Fridays? And I didn't do anything without asking Anita because, you know, uh, respectful, you know. And yeah. I asked her and she was like, let's go for it. And it started out just going to have a few people here and three or four bulls were going to buck. And then all of a sudden it just organically grew. And now it's like people come from eight states now. I and 
Uh, it's just one big family coming together for a family reunion. It's crazy. Let's, for people that are watching, mm -hmm. tell them everything that's been happening and that's going to happen. Oh, so we've been at the lodge where the movie is going to take place. We rode horses yesterday yes. uh, at the Mercantile today. We're going to be at the bar having catfish tonight with the locals mm -hmm. and, and uh, big bull riding tomorrow with a big concert after. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a great time. It is. I am so excited. Yeah, and then what else, what else can we plug for you? Let's you coffee, see. Right? We do. We have coffee. It's called Cowboy Entrepreneur Coffee. We have a podcast. Uh, we have a book coming out. And uh, first of all, how can somebody watch the podcast and where can they get your It's book? on Cowboy Entrepreneur on YouTube and all okay. our social media and other platforms like iTunes, iHeart. And what's your book? Uh, the book is called You Can't Crack That Egg Twice. And, and it's just funny quotes with true <laughs> stories. And you think about it like, I guess you can't. All right, give yeah. us a funny quote or a true story. A uh, true story is um, I was carrying eggs from the hen house and I dropped them and, and Tracy, what happened to them? And uh, we have a turkey and it's my wife's pet turkey. And he doesn't like me. And the turkey started chasing me and I dropped the egg. It, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you can't make that stuff you up. Can't. And uh, we just put in a book and, and uh, is it, that why it's called You Can't Crack the Yeah, twice? that's where it came that's from. Right. And just funny quotes. And we have our second book coming out uh, next fall. I love it. Yeah, so much All fun. Right. I just love uh, meeting people and, and just sharing our life with them. It is fun. We are blessed doing things that we love. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know. This has been fun. So Hope you didn't fun. mind the little speech. No, I love it so <laughs> much. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. I just kind of took over the this position here, but you did I'll great. give you your seat back. Oh, well, thank you all so much for watching Freedom Fridays. Thank <laughs> you.